Hello friends, today we will learn how to make attendance sheet in Excel. So it is an interesting topic. So let's begin. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and support us. So let's start in cell A1 type, sorry, type attendance sheet for the month of. Then on cell A4 type employee code in short form the next name of the employee and on the next cell type the first date of the month that is 1st January 2018. Then format the cell. Right click on the cell and click format and then go to number tab and click on custom. Then on the box type DD and press OK and the date converted into two digit. Then fill the date of the full month with the help of fill series. Type the last date on the store value and press OK. All the dates are filled then select all the date columns and best fit or reduce the column width as your wish. After that select all the dates and copy it and paste it above the dates. Then format the cells for the days click format cell and then click custom and on the type press D D D not MMM and press OK you can see all the dates are converted to days now change the width of the column so that all the days are visible clearly you can change it as you wish you can best fit them or you can change manually and fix them as of your wish and it is now completed. Now I will do little formatting of the headings. So first select uh, cell A1 to L1 and then merge it. After that change the font face of the text and then size and color it as your wish. On cell M1 uh, we will set the month name so click on M1 press equal to and then click the first date of the month then press enter now format it to month name so go to custom and then press four times M and press OK and it becomes name and now I will take more uh, five or six cell and merge them and increase this size and change the font then to take the year uh, click on U1 U and press on the first date and then format it to year 4 times Y and then press OK and it got 2018 now change the font face and the font size here also select four, five uh, cell four or five cell and then merge it and you can see the year now select all the cells and change the font color of your wish now select all the dates and the days and center them by align center now on cell ah1 type present days then on next cell absent days and on next cell present percentage 
and then absent percentage now uh, do a little formatting just merge the cells uh, or merge all the cells one by one and then center them so that it looks good so I'll be doing them one by one wrap text then center them and then go to previous employee code same way do merge cell and center and then next employee name merge and center and now it's all done now we will put formula on present days here I will put formula equal to count A then select the total range of dates then bracket close minus count if the range then the we select the same range that is the date range and in the criteria comma in the double inverted comma we will put a then we get the result zero and absent is equal to count if bracket open then the date range and comma then I will put the criteria within the bracket a bracket close enter we get zero and now the percentage so percentage will be equal to percentage days divided by total days that is count a and select the date range total date range In bracket close enter so as the value is zero so it is giving an error message when I will put the um, value it will give a result now absent percentage will be absent days divided by total day that is count a and total cell range of dates now I will put the employee code EMP001 then name of any employee and then I will put present or absent in the cells and you will see the result will be automatically changed so put them as your wish now you can see the result the present is 13 absent is 1 and the percentage are given on numeric value select them and give them a percentage format then you can see the present is percentage and absent is percentage is visible and as I am uh, inputting the present or absent the present days present absent and present is percent and absent percent are changing automatically So in this way, you have to do all the attendances. So attendance for the first employee is done and we can see is now drag the fill handle of employee code and the employee code is filled and then put the name of the employee one by one so in this way you can create the attendance sheet it will be very easy for you and if you are liking this video please press the like button now and obviously subscribe us so that 
we get more motivated and make more videos for you if you need this project file or want to download this video you can see the links in the description and you can also get the more advanced attendance sheet videos or uh, this all the links will be given in the description you can visit the description uh, box and click the links to get all you need if you have any queries question you can ask me on the comment box i will obviously help you to the best of my knowledge now we will do some formatting of the attendance sheet so that it looks good so select the employee code and all the dates and format them as you wish make it bold or give a background color or font color maybe and then select do some adjustment if you need do the proper adjustment as you require as you see the wednesday became a hashtag so to increase the column width you can increase them so that it is visible and as it is done you can go to the employee code and employee name select them and color it as your wish and you can give it a border the help of border or then select the weekdays one by one and give them a different color so the same way to all the weekdays select them and give the same color of the weekdays you can do it very easily with the help of format painter format painter make the work very easy it saves a lots of time uh, you do not have to select it multiple times and uh, do formatting just a single time you click the format and uh, format painter and select the cells which one you want to format so as it is done now we will do the um, sundays so give them a color the same way with the help of format painter do all the sundays coloring so now select the present days and absent days and color it and then go to present percentage and absent percentage and color them so as coloring has been done select the total attendance sheet and then give them a border all border now it's looking pretty good now fill all the sundays cell so press the uh, control and drag the fill handle don't forget to press the control otherwise it will be a sunday monday like this way so control and drag the fill handle so sunday's work is done and also copy the formulas with the help of fill handle now our mark sheet is completed and you can check it by more putting present or absent values one by one hope you like this video i request you to give a thumbs up to our video and subscribe subscribe us if any of your friend or colleague want to learn this attendance sheet please share this video with your colleague or friends i will be uh, grateful to you now we will give a conditional formatting so that the lowest percentage of absent or more percentage of absent gets highlighted so select them and give it a conditional formatting of your choice visit our channel to learn more about conditional formatting 
now we'll give a little test if you change the first date first delete this Sundays and go to date 1 that is first date and change it to 1st February 2018 you will see the January became February and if you put here 1st March 2018 you will see February changed to March so in this way you can change the date and it will automatically the months will be changed and you can uh, fill the dates with the by dragging them to the last cell so here video is completed thank you very much for giving your time so you got a complete attendance sheet here you can use it for your office or your coaching classes or your school thank you very much for watching this video please like subscribe and share our videos thank you very much